Hey sis, I'm gonna spend my hard earned tip money on a good old bean and cheese burrito. We got the burrito. Well, I finally made it home. I ate the burrito, but I'm still hungry. I'm gonna make a couple more burritos. And when I say burrito, I actually mean melted cheese on a tortilla. That's how lazy I've become. I can't even warm up a, a can of refried beans. It's just getting ridiculous, okay? Well, I think it's time to get to the main part of the video now. And I absolutely love the uh, getting to know you questions that you asked and answered in your last video. So now it's my turn, I guess. Question one. Describe yourself in five words. Charismatic, but only on camera. Question two. If you weren't working your current job, or you weren't studying on your current major, what would you do? Well, that is a good question. So currently, I'm paying the bills by making smoothies. I am a uh, professional smoothie maker, but as far as uh, studying and majors go, I am currently going to school for uh, uh, integrated media, video and media type stuff has always been a huge passion of mine. If I wasn't currently going to school for uh, video stuff, I would be pursuing a career as a person that dresses up as Disneyland characters at Disneyland. Question three. What is one thing on your bucket list? Hmm, I haven't really thought too much about my bucket list. But what comes to mind right now is someday I want to meet Devin Graham and or Lindsey Sterling. Question four. Name your five favorite books. Uh-oh. Ah, you're talking about how hard it is for you. I don't even know if I've read five books in my lifetime. Well, number one favorite book, I'm going to be cliche as well and go with the Bible. Oh, the Bible's all about Jesus. You got to love it. You got to love it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, there's this book when I was a little kid that uh, that I really loved. It was called The Hunter, and I don't, I don't remember who wrote it or much about it. I know it was action-packed, and uh, it was about this hunter. I will let you know I have been reading a lot more since I've been back from my missions trip uh, this past summer, and I'm loving it. I'm currently reading this uh, book that's part of a, a series called Odyssey One. This particular book is called Into the Black, and it, it's pretty darn good. It's a sci-fi book. I just recently read this book called Love Does. It's uh, written by Bob Goff. It's basically about this uh, super whimsy dude. He just tells a bunch of stories from his life, and at the end of each story, he basically connects what he learned in the story and uh, how it relates to his uh, relationship with Jesus. Uh, what else? Oh, and I recently read uh, the Lindsey Sterling book, um, The Only Pirate at the Party. That was good. You were the one that got that for me, and I loved it. I think I said five books. And yeah, like you said, the Bible's 66 books, so boom, Bible, done. I have actually yet to read the Bible all the way through. I know I'm such a heathen. In the Bible, I do love the book of Job, uh, Gospel of John, Romans, and uh, right now I'd have to say First and Second Timothy because my college group just did a Bible study on, on those two. Question five, name one thing you're very passionate about. Well, besides the good old Sunday school answer, 
of my faith in Jesus, I'd have to go with family. I know you said families, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I know what you're what you're uh, talking about there. But I'd have to say family. I'm a family man. Who is your celebrity look-alike? <laughs> when I was younger, I wore glasses. And uh, a lot of people thought I looked like Harry Potter. And looking back, I can't, I can't disagree with that. I've also been told that I look like Peter Parker. I can actually remember three different times where people thought I looked like uh, the Tobey Maguire, Peter Parker. There was one occasion in high school where somebody thought I looked like Edward from Twilight, which is uh, pretty unfortunate. Jill, you are Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway doesn't exist. You are Anne Hathaway. Just like Daniel Radcliffe doesn't exist, I am actually Daniel Radcliffe. Question seven, what did you want to be when you grow up? Well, back in the day when I was a little boy, I remember I uh, always wanted to be like a race car driver um, or a firefighter. And I think there was one other one that I'm not thinking of. Maybe, you'll, maybe you remember, Jill. I don't know. But then when I was 10 years old, that's about the time when I first got the itch for uh, making making videos and uh, I've been making videos ever since I'm making one right now and uh, it's, it's been a fun time Jill that that seriously blows my mind it's been almost 10 years since you moved out that's that's insane all right everybody else thank you so much for tuning in and Jill I love making these vlogs it's awesome and I will see you on Monday